Hey, Lloyd. Well, this was short. Um, okay, so drove back into the back of, Sh of Shudder again since weekends are a good time for me to do that. So I was able to get a couple in last night, and mostly because this one was short. Very short. This was all of uh, not less than a half hour. Uh, so, Primal Scream. Now, I have a feeling like this was supposed to be like a series or something, and only one episode was made, and maybe it just didn't test well, so was, this possibly was a pilot for something? Because, like, IMDb lists it as a TV series, and it's like an episode length, and it even has an episode title called The Wooden Boy. So, it does make it... And then it's divided further up into chapters here, so it does make it seem like there should be more of this. And if there was, I'd probably be giving it a better rating, but as it stands right now with just one episode, it kind of was a little lackluster for me. It was interesting, but with how much more they could have explored, and if it had actually gone to full series, I would uh, definitely be more down for it. So. Primal Screen, it's a Shutter Original exclusive, both. Shutter Original, back in 2017. Now, this one uh, discusses a lot of about the Uncanny Valley, and uh, pretty much uh, the creator. It's about, uh, I, don't, I think it's one creator's fascination with a, a ventriloquist doll and uh, discussing fears in relation to dolls, mannequins, the uncanny valley, and things of that nature, which, yeah, very interesting. Hi, your rudeness. You can... Come on, get, get out of the way. Cats. Anyway. So, this one, uh, in particular, the documentarian person being discussed, it's kind of unclear, because uh, he's given different voices throughout it, uh, is, uh, had a ventriloquist doll as a kid, and uh, was never saw any why people would be creeped out of it, until he saw a trailer for the movie Magic, which was, essentially had a very creepy ventriloquist doll that uh, was speaking directly to the camera. And then it pretty much even looked up like its eyes rolled up like the doll itself was dying. The doll itself was just kind of creepy just from the way its teeth and tongue looked. So, yeah. This movie, or episode, or whatever this is, felt like almost a glorified trailer for the movie Magic, because a lot of it uh, really uh, seemed to reference it. So, well, it succeeded in making me want to see the, uh, Magic with stars Anthony Hopkins. I'm down for that now. But, uh, yeah, it was interesting, but because it's just so random and kept talking about this one other movie, which I don't know how successful this was from a documentary standpoint. It's interesting and has some creepy imagery, but I really can only give this one, like, a four MacGuffins. And that's just because it did hold my interest, and I wanted to see what it was talking about. But I kind of expected more episodes, which aren't manifesting. So if this was discussed more th other fears or other horrors and how pop culture referenced them, yeah, I would be down for that. But just as a one-off, it's just like, okay. So I can't really discuss much on this one. There's no real effects to general. There's some creepy imagery, sure. I mean, they do some interesting stylings for... It is stylistic, so there's definitely effort that went into this, which is why I'm not dropping it lower, but yeah, but... Four MacGuffins is really the best I can do on uh, Primal Screen. It... It feels like a failed series pilot. Well, maybe that's all it was. But at least it was a quick sit, didn't really waste my time, so I was able to actually get a second movie in last night, and now that one was a lot longer, and 
I think I did prefer Primal Screen, to be honest, but we'll get to that in a second. See you in a few weeks.